Perth have had quite a, a good change in personnel. They've had a lot of young players that they've signed. Last season their quality, uh, their, their players were a little bit older and they've brought in a lot of youth internationals. So they've brought in Jamie McLaren from Blackburn. Um, he's a youth international. The two Edward, Edwards brothers, Cam and Ryan, um, they're both youth internationals as well. So the balance is a little bit shifted now, but they've still got the experience with Michael Thwaite, Danny Vukovic, Jacob Burns, so it's a good mix of youth and experience in there. Probably uh, Liam Miller is their biggest loss. Uh, he was, even though he started the season a little bit shakily, he got he grew into it and he was a really a key player with their resurgence under Alistair Edwards at the back end of the season. Um, he He's a quality player and he'll definitely be one that they miss. Well, Alistair Edwards came in with seven games to go and Perth were on the back of a five game losing streak, uh, which saw Ian Ferguson uh, removed um, and then from there Edwards really got them on a, on a nice run and he immediately changed their style of play to a more proactive possession based game and they, they made the top six and they lost to Melbourne victory in a really really entertaining game in the elimination final so with a full pre-season you'd expect Edwards to really improve on that um, formation and that style of play and really carry on from that success he had in the last seven games of the season. Expect Perth Glory to make the top six for sure. My personal expectations for them is to be really pushing top, top four or top three. I think if Edwards can carry on that success he had at the back end of the season, um, also bringing in more players to suit his style of play, they should really flourish and expect a top four or a top three finish.